Hello everyone. Welcome to the drug of the day series. Today we will learn about the drug chloramphenicol. So let's start. Chloramphenicol, the first widely used broad spectrum antibiotics and it has other names like chloromycetin amphicol was isolated by early. Chloramphenicol was initially obtained from Streptomyces venezuelan. Okay, this is a source of chloramphenicol. Remember this, okay? Now we'll see the classification of chloramphenicol based on different aspects, okay? So first is based on chemical structure. It belongs to the nitrobenzene derivatives, okay? Then based on spectrum of activity, it has broad spectrum activity. Then based on type of action, it is primarily bacteriostatic. That is, that means it inhibits the growth of bacteria. Then based on mechanism of action, it inhibits the protein synthesis, okay? So now we'll see the mechanism of action of chloramphenicol. Okay, this is a diagram of bacterial protein synthesis. This is 50S ribosome. This is 30S ribosome. This is mRNA. This is A site or acceptor site. This is P site, okay? You can see here, this is a, a nascent peptide chain which has formed, okay? So in first step, what will happen? Ye jo amino acid tRNA hai, okay, will attach to the A site, okay? Then there is a transfer of this nascent peptide chain from this particular P site to A site, okay? Okay, and then there is a peptide bond formation between this newly attached amino acid tRNA, okay? and this nascent peptide chain, okay? There is a peptide bond formation between these two. And in the last, there is a translocation step. That is, from this particular A, uh, a site, it will get transferred or translocate on this P site, okay? So what is the mechanism of action of chloramphenicol? It inhibits the protein synthesis by interfering the transfer of the elongating peptide chain from P site to the newly attached amino acid tRNA at the ribosome mRNA complex, okay? It actually interferes with this particular uh, step, okay? The transfer of this uh, nascent peptide chain from this P site to this newly attached amino acid tRNA, okay? Then it specifically binds or attaches to 50S ribosome near the acceptor A site and prevents the peptide bond formation between the newly attached amino acid and the nascent peptide chain without interfering the amino acid tRNA attachment to the 30S ribosome, okay? So this particular step, which is there, peptide bond formation, okay? This is also interfered by the chloramphenicol. The peptide bond formation between newly attached amino acid tRNA and this nascent peptide chain, which has formed, okay? So what chloramphenicol does first, it, in, uh, it interferes or inhibits the transfer of the elongating peptide chain from this P site to A site, okay? And it also inhibits the peptide bond formation between these two, okay? Then at high doses, it can inhibit the mammalian mitochondrial protein synthesis as well. Now we'll see the structure of chloramphenicol. So this is the structure of chloramphenicol, okay? This is the IUPAC name. That is 2,2 dash dichloro, okay? Dichloro means two chlorine groups are there. And 1R, 2R, okay? We'll, uh, we'll number this carbons as 1, this carbon as 2, this carbon as 3, okay? So these, we can see here, these are the two stereocenters or two chiral carbons, okay? Because they are attached to four different groups. So that is 1R, it has a configuration R, okay? So 1R, 2R, okay? Both of the carbons have configuration as R. Then 1,3 dihydroxy, okay? This one particular, one carbon, this is third carbon. So both have hydroxy group. So dihydroxy group, one, okay? So to the carbon one, the phenyl group is attached, okay? It is not just phenyl, it is nitrophenyl, okay? There is a nitro group at fourth position, okay? Then propan to L, that is propan means this three carbon, okay? And again at second position, there is a acetamide group, okay? So this is the IUPAC name of this chloramphenicol. Now we'll see each group. This particular highlighted one is called as P-nitrophenyl or para-nitrophenyl, okay? 
then this particular group is 1,3 propendiol, okay, propendiol. Then this particular highlighted one is dichloroacetamide, okay. This first one is paranitrophenyl. This, this particular group is 1,3 propendiol and this particular group is dichloroacetamide. With two asymmetric centers, okay, that is this one and two carbons, it is one of the four diastereomers, okay. Out of four diastereomers, we have active one, that is 1R, 2R, okay, which is significantly active, okay. 1R, 2R is significantly active. Now we'll see the structure activity relationship. So this is a structure of uh, chloramphenicol. So... Replacement of this nitro group by other electron withdrawing group, okay, this particular nitro group which is there, okay, so replacement of this particular nitro group with any other electron withdrawing group gives active compound, okay, if it is CH3SO2, that is thiamphenicol, if it is CH3CO, then it is cytophenicol, okay, these are the other two drugs. Then replacement of nitro group by other substituents such as NH2, NHR, OH, CN, okay, results in loss of activity. Then shifting of nitro group from the para position, okay, since uh, this particular nitro group is para in, in para position, so shifting of this particular nitro group from para position will lead to loss of activity, okay. Then this particular dichloro group. Then other dihalo derivatives of the side chain are less potent, although major activities are retained. Okay, if we substitute this particular chlorines with any other halogens, okay, it will uh, it will give us what? It will give us less potent. Okay, but although the activities will be retained, okay, major activities will be retained. Then we have this phenyl group. Replacement of phenyl group by other aromatic systems or cyclic systems, example cyclohexyl, furyl, nephthyl, pyridyl, or thionyl will result in loss of activity. Then this propendiol group. The propendiol moiety should be in D, okay? Trio isomer, other isomers are inactive, okay? This D trio isomer is active one. Then replacement of OH, that is hydroxyl groups, and extension or suppression of terminal CH2OH group, okay, this one abolishes the activity, okay. Now we'll see the products of chloramphenicol, okay. So uh, the chloramphenicol products are this chloramphenicol hemisuccinate, okay, and chloramphenicol palmitate, okay. So chloramphenicol's poor water solubility is largely overcome by the conversion to the C3 hemisuccinyl ester, which forms water soluble sodium salt. Okay. So this particular derivative, uh, this particular product, which is there, chloramphenicol hemisuccinate, okay, it enhanced the water solubility of chloramphenicol. Okay. And this is cleaved in the body by lung, liver, kidney, and blood esterases to produce our active chloramphenicol, okay? Because the cleavage in muscle is very slow, they are given mostly through intravenous route, okay? Then the next one, that is chloramphenicol palmitate. The drug is intensively bitter, okay? And this can be masked for use as a pediatric oral suspension by the use of the C3 palmitate group, okay? Which is cleaved in the duodenum to liberate the active chloramphenicol, okay? So this particular chloramphenicol palmitase was formulated to mask the bitter taste. And this chloramphenicol hemisuccinate was formulated to enhance the solubility of original chloramphenicol, okay? Now we'll see the synthesis of chloramphenicol, okay? So starting material is 1,4-nitrophenylethanol, okay? This particular group. Then after addition of bromine, what we are getting? 2 bromo 1 4 nitrophenyl ethanol. Okay, bromine is attached over here. Okay, uh, then we are adding hexamethylene tetramine. Okay, this particular and HCl and ethanol. Okay, so then we are getting 2 amino 1 4 nitrophenyl ethanol hydrochloride. Okay, 
this particular br is then replaced by ch2 nh2 hcl okay this br is replaced by nh2 dot hcl okay other things are same then after addition of acetic anhydride we are getting this particular compound that is nh okay this 1h is replaced by c double bond o ch3 okay then after addition of hcho and sodium carbonate what we are getting is this particular compound okay this ch2oh is added over here then after mervin fondorf wolle reduction okay what we are getting reduction so this particular double bond o has now reduced and formed into an alcohol okay oh group then after addition of h2o and hydrochloric acid we are getting this particular compound okay there is a cleavage over here and we are simply getting nh2 okay other structure is same then after resolution with d camphoric acid okay and dichloromethyl acetate we are getting our compound chloramphenicol now we'll see the pharmacokinetics of chloramphenicol it is rapidly and completely absorbed after oral ingestion okay 50 to 60 percent is bound to plasma proteins and are very widely distributed it freely penetrates to serous cavities even blood brain barrier and its csf concentration that is the cerebrospinal fluid concentration is nearly equal to the unbound drug in plasma okay it crosses placenta as well as it is secreted in bile and milk plasma t half is around 3 to 5 hours in adults okay then metabolism it is mainly excreted in the urine in the form of its metabolites which are c3c1 glucuronide conjugates okay phase 2 metabolism and to a lesser extent its deamidation or deamidation product and the product of dehalogenation and reduction okay in most of the cases it is glucuronide okay and to a lesser extent it can be a deamidation product or the product of dehalogenation and reduction the metabolites are usually inactive then in cirrhotics and neonates okay who have low conjugating ability require low doses of chloramphenicol okay and hence this particular chloramphenicol is contraindicated in neonates and cirrhotics patients okay then resistance okay so highly uh, chloramphenicol resistant that is uh, s typhi okay salmonella typhi has emerged due to the transfer of r factor by conjugation the resistance among the gram negative bacteria is generally due to the acquisition of r plasmid which encoded for an acetyl transferase enzyme okay which inactivates the chloramphenicol so these are the mechanisms by which the bacteria has uh derived the resistance against this chloramphenicol okay then also there is decrease permeability into the resistant bacterial cells okay because why because chloramphenicol appears to enter the bacterial cell by both passive diffusion as well as facilitated transport okay so this particular resistant bacteria has now decreased the permeability of this chloramphenicol okay and also lower the affinity of for the bacterial ribosome for the chloramphenicol okay are the other mechanisms of resistance okay it has also lowered the affinity of bacterial ribosome okay then adverse effects first one is bone marrow depression okay it uh, why bone uh, first uh, first uh, side effect or the first adverse effect is bone marrow depression okay it mostly uh, lowers the levels of red blood cells then white blood cells platelets okay all types of uh, like thrombocytopenia occurs uh, okay so there is a depression of this bone marrow okay that's why uh, the blood uh, red blood cells are uh, having a low count okay then white blood cells are having low count platelets are having low count okay then hypersensitivity reactions like rashes uh, then there is um, different uh, hypersensitivity reactions like uh, fever then angioedema occurs then irritative effect like nausea vomiting okay and super infections are also there then we'll see the gray baby syndrome so it occurred when high doses around 100 mg per kg were given prophylactically uh, prophylactically to neonates especially premature ones okay then why it occurred 
because of the inability of the newborn to adequately metabolize and excrete the chloramphenicol. Then chloramphenicol inhibits the electron transport and hence mitochondrial respiration, which leads to decrease in oxygen supply. Okay, what it does, chloramphenicol uh, started to inhibit this particular electron transport. Okay, we, uh, hence also the mitochondrial respiration, which further led to the decrease in oxygen supply. Okay, and further led to the cyanosis. Symptoms. Uh, the baby stopped feeding, then abdomen distan uh, distension, then irregular respiration, vomiting, cardiac irregularities, reduced body temperature, then blood lactic acid raised, okay, gray discoloration of the skin, okay, that is the cyanosis, it is bluish grayish uh, discoloration of the skin occurred, okay, and finally the death. So this was the gray baby syndrome, hence it is avoided in premature babies or neonates, okay. Then we'll see the interactions. Chloramphenicol inhibits the metabolism of warfarin, cyclophosphamide, phenytoin, okay? And phenobarbitone, phenytoin, rifampin enhance the chloramphenicol metabolism by enzyme induction. Uses pyogenic meningitis, anaerobic infections, then intraocular infections as a second drug of choice to tetracycline for brucellosis and rickets cell infections, and to erythromycin for whooping cough, then topically for conjunctivitis and external ear infection. Preparations, okay, these are the preparations of chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol and benzocaine ear drops, okay, chloromycetin ear drops by Pfizer, then enteromycetin, okay, that is by Days Medical, and this paroxine by Abbott. So we have a few MCQs to solve. So before that, if you want more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel, Dharmesh Mehta GPAD. You can press the bell icon and you will be notified every time a video is posted. We also have free WhatsApp group where we post daily five MCQs. Okay, so if you want to join the group or if you want to join our classes, you can just contact on this number. You can mention your name, your college name and we'll do the need. Okay, so now let's start with the MCQ part. Chloramphenicol acts through action on, okay, 50S ribosome, 30S ribosome, nucleus, mitochondria. So we have already seen this particular thing, right? We have seen the mechanism of action of chloramphenicol. It acts through 50S ribosome, right? Then next one, red cell aplasia can be caused by aminoglycoside, chloramphenicol, penicillins and ciprofloxacin. So just now we had seen the adverse effect of chloramphenicol, okay? And there, there was a bone marrow depression, right? So it uh, falls in same line with red cell plasia, aplasia, okay? So the correct answer over here will be chloramphenicol, okay? That's it for today. Thank you.